The mainstream media in an uproar tonight because some senators dared to get a little restless during Adam Schiff's three hour snooze fest. Can you blame them? I mean, I'd like the members of the media to have to try and sit through three hours of opening arguments without the luxury of so much as a cup of coffee, right? To get you through Adam Schiff's theatrical audition for a bad community musical. All this, as the now notorious Schiff makes it very clear, he does not trust the American people to get it right at the ballot box. Impeachment, he says, is the only course of action to get rid of President Trump. Good evening, everyone. I am Trish Regan. Adam Schiff. Wow. He went on and on and on and on and on some more. And somehow CNN and MSNBC think that this is supposed to be like what? Gospel? Dazzling. My goodness. You know what? It was pretty boring. It was a pretty boring show. Not dazzling. I mean, by a self-important, boring performer that's prone to a, a lot more than poetic license. I mean, we've caught the guy in a whole number of lies. I wonder how much longer our republic can succeed. The quid pro quo you were discussing was over the aid, correct? No. <laughs> False again, right? So senators are being bombarded with the never ending talker who lies. I mean, that MSNBC example is a great one, right? He actually said. He actually said that he had had no contact. His office had had no contact with the whistleblower when it turns out his office did. I mean, it's like he's trying to audition for the main part in Hamilton or something. Those words were written by Alexander Hamilton. This is no less true of Alexander Hamilton. Hamilton, Hamilton wrote, Hamilton envisioned. Hamilton wrote, Hamilton explained. Oh, yeah. Hamilton, Hamilton, Hamilton. He really should not be evoking Hamilton's name. Of all people that should not be evoking Hamilton's name. Anyway, you get the picture here. Uh, there were also, of course, these very dramatic pauses. People are cynical enough as it is about, about politics, about people's commitment to their good. Cynical enough without having us confirm it for them. Something else remarkable about this. I was struck by, why would he hide it from us? Why would he hide it from the Ukrainians? Why would he hide it from the rest of the world? <sighs> Are you exhausted yet? And you didn't have to sit through three hours of it, right? All these theatrics becoming a kind of torture, if you would, for these restless senators. You know, who, who understandably um, want to get up and get a cup of coffee, maybe to help keep themselves awake through it all. Uh, interesting note. Do you know you can only have milk and water there on the floor? Goes all the way back to uh, the late 1700s. Milk and water only. No tea, no coffee. But the liberal media says, hey, you know what? Suffer through it or else. You know, there's only one problem, I would say, for the Dems. <laughs> they need a Dale Carnegie course. They need to be able to go out there and win friends and influence people. Instead, all they do is alienate. All they want to do is tell you how it should be. It's their way or the highway. There's no leadership there. None. I mean, why not put someone substantive and credible up there? The only people that actually like Adam Schiff at this point are the media hacks. What, so should he have been at Carnegie Hall? A virtuoso performance. Oh my goodness, brava, bravo, both of you, believe me, if these guys are impressed over there on MSNBC, you know what, you definitely know Adam Schiff is doing something wrong. Meanwhile, he's reminding America that we're not good enough. Adam Schiff wants you to know your vote doesn't actually count. No, because America was, in his view, deplorable deplorable enough to elect Donald Trump in the first place. And in Adam Schiff's delusional world, well, he can say it best. We are here today to consider a much more grave matter. And that is an attempt to use the powers of the presidency to cheat in an election. For precisely this reason, the president's misconduct cannot be decided at the ballot box. For we cannot be assured that the vote will be fairly won. You hear that? Already he's trying to set the stage. 
Already he's trying to plan for what happens if Donald Trump wins the presidency again. He wants you to no longer trust the American way, the American system. He wants you to believe that your vote doesn't matter because it's going to be corrupted by Donald Trump. This is unbelievable stuff. This is banana republic stuff. But the fact that Adam Schiff is what, as good as they can get? What does it tell you? It tells me that this whole case is a total sham without a leg to stand on. They know it. So instead of arguing substance, they put on a show, complete with pauses and references to Alexander Hamilton. The only problem here is they've got really lousy casting directors. The last person they should have ever put in that prosecutorial role was Adam Schiff. People don't like him. That's if they even know him, right? Maybe that's why he's talking so much. He figures if I go three hours and I'm on every cable TV network, they'll be able to get the answer right in jeopardy next time. I'll tell you, there is nothing about Adam Schiff that resonates truth nor honor. And to try and convince six senators that might be on the fence, you need a stand-up guy or gal, not a poser. So good luck, Dems. I'll remind you of your score on this one thus far. What do you know? Oh, for 11, nicely done. And that's tonight's Intel.